Hi, church family. So uh, it's Friday. At least most of us think it's Friday. The days kind of all blend in together. I know I'm not the first person to say that, but in this time when the days seem to just kind of all fade one into the other, uh, I was reminded of a psalm. I don't remember the first time that I read it. I don't remember the first time that it really hit me, uh, but it's one that has always stuck with me. And it's Psalm 61. And there's just really kind of like this one little phrase in the psalm. And, and so let me just read it to you. Um, I'm going to read verses like one through three. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I call to you when my heart is faint. And then he tells us what he prays. So when the psalmist is feeling like he's at the end of his rope, he calls out to God and he says this, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. So it's that phrase. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. When I first came across that phrase, what stood out to me was the psalmist is acknowledging that he at times has viewed himself as a rock. Often we have the concept of just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and you're going to get through this, suck it up, some people might say. And I think there's a real human tendency to, to do what this psalmist has done, which is look at oneself as, as a rock. But what the psalmist gets is that, well, he's not sufficient in himself. He says to the Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And so in my mind, here's what I've always pictured. There are things that happen in our life and, and the tide of the pressures and the anxieties and the responsibilities rise and rise and rise and rise. And, and for, for a while, we, we, we feel like we can take it, we can, we can manage it. But eventually, the tide rises to the place where, you know what, you and I, we, we realize it's, it's beyond us. The fact of the matter is that the tide has always been beyond our control. We've never been sufficient in and of ourselves to withstand the onslaught of what comes each and every day. But this psalmist comes and he realizes that there is a rock that is higher than him, one who can rescue, one that can save him. And so he comes in humility and he finally owns up to it. He, he owns up to the fact that he's not sufficient in and of himself, that, that he can't withstand the rising tide. And so he says to the Lord, lead me to a rock that is higher than I. And then he says this. He knows that there's a rock that's higher than him because he says, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Okay, let me just bring, bring this all, all together. It's that last phrase that, that, that for me kind of cements everything. Have you ever heard somebody say, probably even heard me say, um, preach the gospel to yourself daily? Often we think about the message of Jesus Christ, his life, burial, and death, death and resurrection. As, uh, by the way, I got those out of order. But we often think about the life, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus as um, something that saves us. And, and it absolutely does. Um, and, and we think about that as the message of the gospel, that I put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ. He saves me and I have eternal life and then everything's hunky-dory from from there. But the truth is, we need to preach the gospel to ourselves daily. We need to remember that we always need the Lord and, and that he is the dependable strong tower for us because he demonstrated at the cross of Jesus Christ through his death, burial, and resurrection um, that he is the refuge that we can go to, that, that, that he is there for us, that we're never sufficient in and of ourselves. We can't save ourselves. We can't make ourselves right with God. We can't get through this life without continually looking and depending wholly upon him. So, in closing, um, today, wherever your heart is at, my, my prayer for you is that, like the psalmist, you would have a humility to say, I'm not going to try and ever get through whatever I'm getting through on my own. 
I need Jesus Christ to save my soul. How much more do I need him to get through the everyday? And so, may we, like the psalmist, pray, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, that you and you alone would sustain me and continue to prove yourself to be the refuge that I need. So, to that end, let me pray for us. Lord, as we think about you, we recognize that in you, we find the security, we find the safety, we find the refuge that we so desperately need. In and through Jesus Christ, you have granted to us salvation. You have rescued and saved. Oh Lord, keep us humble before you so that we don't continue to look to ourselves, so we don't look to any other rocks, but only look to you for the sufficiency of what we need each and every day. And so, Lord, we pray and we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Love you, church family. Look forward to worshiping with you this upcoming Sunday, albeit online. God bless.